Forbes' annual list of billionaires often captures the attention of the world, showcasing individuals who have amassed enormous wealth through legitimate means such as technology, finance, and industry. However, there exists a shadowy realm of billionaires who have accumulated their wealth through nefarious activities like corruption, illegal arms dealing, and gambling. These individuals remain largely absent from Forbes' spotlight due to the illicit nature of their wealth accumulation. In this video, we shed light on seven billionaires whose sources of wealth are far from transparent and whose names remain conspicuously absent from Forbes' prestigious list. Then Louis Chiwo, Hong Kong magnate and modern-day mass, Louis Chiwo is a man who has made several fortunes in many different fields. Aged 93 at the time of writing, Louis Chiwo made his first million in construction and property. Since then, everything he touches has turned to gold. Today, he owns the publicly traded Galaxy Entertainment Group and six casinos in Macau, including the Star World Macau Broadway Casino and the $2 billion Galaxy Macau, which has more than 1,500 slots, 650 tables games, five hotels, and the world's largest rooftop wave pool. His current net worth is $19 billion. Miriam Adelson, the widow of casino legend Sheldon, Adelson inherited a $30 billion to Washington when he died in January 2021. Adelson was the founder, chairman, and CEO of the mighty Las Vegas Sands Corporation and began his casino career with the purchase of the iconic Sands Hotel and Casino in 1988. In the next three decades, Adelson built a string of world-class casinos and hotels, including a Venetian, in both Las Vegas and Macau, the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, and five casinos in Macau. Miriam Adelson inherited the business. That makes her the fifth richest woman in the world. Louis Sandoval, the drug lord disguised. Louis Sandoval's billion dollar empire is intertwined with the drug trade, where his control extends from production to distribution. His vast network spans continents with his wealth hidden in a labyrinth of shell companies and offshore holdings. Sandoval's estimated net worth of $6, seven cents billion reflects the immense profits generated from illegal narcotics, rendering him invisible to the legitimate business world. Platon Lebedev, Platon Lebedev is a Russian businessman and former CEO of Group Menatep. He was convicted of tax evasion, money laundering, and embezzlement by Russian courts in two cases and imprisoned from July 2003 to January 2014. He is best known as a close associate of Mikhail Khodorkovsky. Once the richest man in Russia and at $15 billion, the 16th richest person in the world, in 2004, Khodorkovsky became his country's most famous prisoner, Kerry Packer. Kerry Packer might have become Australia's richest man through his family's business empire, but it's gambling that he will always be remembered for. This is because Packer always played big. Part of playing this way is losing huge sums of money, and Packer was known to go on some astonishingly bad streaks during his gambling career. The most famous of these was over a 10-month period from September 1999 to July 2000 when he lost around $40 playing in both Crockford's Casino, London, and the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Fortunately for Packer, he also had the occasional hot streak. Perhaps his greatest gambling achievement came in May 1995, when he won $20 million only 40 minutes by playing several games of $250,000 stake blackjack at once. His estimated net worth is $5 billion. Tony Bloom Like a lot of people who have made their money in the gambling world, Tony Bloom is a bit of a mystery. What we do know is that he studied mathematics at the University of Manchester and started out playing poker for fun. Over the years, this hobby has won him around $2, five cents million dollars, and has seen him play in some huge tournaments, including the World Poker Tour and Poker Million, where he finished second. It was also at the poker table that Bloom earned himself the nickname The Lizard for his cold-blooded style of play. Most of Bloom's fortune has not come from poker, though. Instead, he has made millions by setting up his own betting consultancy firm, Star Lizard. Many reports say that Star Lizard is one of the top betting firms in the world, and that it wagers millions of dollars on soccer leagues across the globe. His estimated net worth is $1.05 billion. Pansy Ho, the richest of Macau casino owners, the daughter of Stanley Ho, the undisputed king of China's gambling mecca, Pansy Ho followed in her father's footsteps and is now the richest casino owner in Macau. Presently, Ponzi Ho owns the most profitable casinos in Macau and holds major shares in MGM China and JM Holdings. She also owns Shuntak Holdings, a company in Hong Kong with core business interests ranging from shipping, real estate, hospitality, and investments. In 2009, Ponzi Ho was bestowed with the Chevalier de l'Ordre National Delay Legion, done her the highest French order of merit for her contribution to the French-Chinese relationship in trade, tourism, and culture and arts. 
Her estimated net worth is $4, one cent billion dollar. While Forbes' list highlights legitimate success stories, it remains blind to the hidden billionaires who have accrued their fortunes through illicit means such as corruption, arms dealing, gambling, and cybercrime. These shadowy figures operate in the margins of society, evading both law enforcement and public scrutiny. Their fortunes, though largely hidden, continue to shape the world's economy in ways that remain beyond the purview of traditional wealth tracking. These elusive figures remain absent from Forbes' prestigious list, their sources of wealth concealed beneath layers of deception and obscurity. As the world continues to strive for transparency and ethical business practices, these untold stories shed light on the complexities of the global wealth landscape and the challenges of uncovering the truth behind hidden fortunes.